కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము సహాయము హెల్ప్ కొండల తట్టు నా కనులెత్తుచు ఉన్నాను నాకు సహాయము ఎక్కడ నుండి వచ్చును భూమి ఆకాశమునను సృజించినటువంటి ఏహోవా వలననే నాకు సహాయము కలుగును కీర్తనల గ్రంథము నూట ఇరవై ఒకటవ అధ్యాయము ఒకటి రెండు వచనములు ఐ లిఫ్ట్ అప్ మై ఐస్ అన్ టు ద హిల్స్ వేర్ షెల్ మై హెల్ప్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth psalm 121 verses 1 and 2 sa సహాయము హెల్ప్ 
కొండల తట్టు నా కన్నులు ఎత్తొచ్చి ఉన్నాను నాకు సహాయము ఎక్కడ నుండి వచ్చును భూమి ఆకాశములను సృజించినటువంటి ఏహో అవ్వాలనేనే నాకు సహాయము కలుగును కీర్తనల గ్రంథము నూట ఇరవై ఒకటవ అధ్యాయము ఒకటి రెండు వచనములు ఐ లిఫ్ట్ అప్ మై ఐస్ అన్ టు ద హెల్స్ వేర్ షెల్ మై హెల్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ మై హెల్ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద లా ద మేకర్ ఆఫ్ హెవెన్ అండ్ అర్త్ Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2 O Yesu ni prema Yento maha niyamo Akasa tara parvata samodra ములకన్న గోపది ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది ఆగమ్యానందమే హృదయాము నిండెనో ప్రాభోని కార్యములు గంభీరమైనవి ప్రతి ఉదయ సాయంత్రములు స్తోతికి యోగ్యములు స్తోతికి యోగ్యములు ఓయే సుని ప్రేమ ఎంతో మహానియము ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది సంకాట సమయములో సాగాలకున్నాను దయచూపు నా మీద అని నేను మొర్ర పెట్టగా వింటేనంటేవి నా మొరకు ముందు తోడునుందు నంటివి తోడునుందు నంటివి ఓ యేసుని ప్రేమ ఎంతో మహానియమో ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది మరణాంధకారపు లోయాలు సంచరించిన నేరంతరము ఏసు నా దూకపరి అయ్యి కరము నేర్చి కాయోచు నడుపు కరుణాగల ప్రభు కరుణాగల ప్రభు ఓయేసుని ప్రేమ ఎంతో మహానియమో ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది ఆకాశ తార పర్వత సముద్ర ములకన్న గోపది కొదవాలి నేయున్న భయపడను నేనెప్పుడు పచ్చిక భయళ్ళలో పారుండ 
भोजन जल मूल तो तृप्ति पर ना तो नुंडो ये सो ना तो नुंडो ये सो हो ये सुनी प्रेमा यो महानियम आकाश तारा पर्वत समुद्र मूल कन्न गोपदे आकाश तारा पर्वत समुद्र मूल कन्न गोपदे देवो निद्रोह मूल सादा नुतिच दनो देवो निग्रोह मूल सादा वसिंच दनो संपूर्ण हृदय मुतो सादा भजिंच दनो स्तुति प्रशंसा पात्रुस हल्ले लुयामे हल्ले लुयामे ओ ये सुनी प्रेमा यो महानियम आकाश तारा पर्वत समुद्र मूल कन्न गोपदी आकाश तारा पर्वत समुद्र मूल कन्न गोपदी सहायमो हेल्प कुंडल तटू ना कनल एना सहायम एक्डी वो भूमि आकाशवन सृजी येहोवा वाले ना सहाय कल मै ई and to the hills where shall my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth <coughs> psalm 121 verses from 1 to 2 verses 1 and 2 स्नेहितोडो प्रण प्रियोडो इतडेना प्रिय स्नेहितोडो स्नेहितोडो प्रण प्रियोडो इतडेना प्रिय स्नेहितोडो ना समीप बंधोडो दीन पापी बांधवोडो ना समीप बंधवोडो दीन पापी बांधवोडो स्नेहितोडो प्राण प्रियोडो हितडे ना प्रिय स्नेहितोडो हितडे ना प्रिय स्नेहितोडो ना समीप बंधोडो दीन पापी बांधवोडो ना समीप बंधोडो दीन पापी बांधवोडो तोडो नीडले नी नन चोडा वचनो जाडलुवे तके जाली चुपेनो एंडीन मोडुले चिगुरिंचेनो पाडईन ब्रतोकोनो बागु चेसेनो एंडीन मोडुले चिगुरिंचेनो स्नेहितोडो प्रणप्रियोडो 
ಹೇತಡೇನಾ ಪ್ರೇಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಹೇತಡೇನಾ ಪ್ರೇಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ನಾ ಸಮೀಪ ಬಂಧೋಡು ದೀನ ಪಾಪಿ ಬಾಂಧವೋಡು ನಾ ಸಮೀಪ ಬಂಧೋಡು ದೀನ ಪಾಪಿ ಬಾಂಧವೋಡು ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಪ್ರಣ ಪ್ರಿಯೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಇತಡೇನಾ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ದಾಹ ಮುಗೋರಿ ನೆ ಬೋರ ಮರಿಗಿತಿ ಮರಣ ಪುಮಾರ ದಾಪುರಿಂಚೆನು ದಾಹ ಮುಕೋರಿ ನೆ ಬೋರ ಮರಿಗಿತಿ ಮರಣ ಪುಮಾರ ದಾಪುರಿಂಚೆನು ಕ್ರೀಸ್ತೇ ಜೀವಂ ಮಧುರಮಾಯನು ಕ್ಷೀರ ದ್ರಾಕ್ಷಲೆ ಸೇದತಿ ಚೆನು ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಿಯೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಪಾದಲಲ್ಲು ನನ್ನು ಆಧರಿಂಚೆನು ವೇದನಲ ಎಂದು ತೋಡು ನಿಚ್ಚೆನು ನಾ ಭಾರಮಂತೆಯು ತೊಲಗಿಂಚೆನು ನಾ ಮುರಲನ್ನೆಯು ಅಲಗಿಂಚೆನು ನಾ ಭಾರಮಂತೆಯು ತೊಲಗಿಂಚೆನು ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಿಯೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ನಾ ಸಮೀಪ ಬಂಧೋಡು ದೀನ ಪಾಪಿ ಬಾಂಧವೋಡು ನಾ ಸಮೀಪ ಬಂಧೋಡು ದೀನ ಪಾಪಿ ಬಾಂಧವೋಡು ಬಾಧಲಲ್ಲು ನನ್ನು ಆಧರಿಂಚೆನು ವೇದನಲ ಎಂದು ತೋಡು ನಿಚ್ಚೆನು ನಾ ಮೊರಲನ್ನೆಯು ಅಲಗಿಂಚೆನು ನಾ ಭಾರಮಂತೆಯು ತೊಲಗಿಂಚೆನು ವೇಣು ಮಾ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ತವಮ ವೇಣು ಮಾ ಯುವತರಮ ವೇಣು ಮಾ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ತವಮ ವೇಣು ಮಾ ಯುವತರಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಿಯೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ಇತಡೇನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತೋಡು ನಾ ಸಮೀಪ ಬಂಧೋಡು ದೀನ ಪಾಪಿ ಬಾಂಧವೋಡು ನಾ ಸಮೀಪ ಬಂಧೋಡು ದೀನ ಪಾಪಿ ಬಾಂಧವೋಡು ಸಹಾಯಮೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕೊಂಡಲ ತಟ್ಟು ನಾ ಕನ್ನಲು ಎತ್ತೊಚ್ಚು ಉನ್ನಾನು ನಾಕು ಸಹಾಯಮೋ ಎಕ್ಕಡ ನಡಿ ವಚ್ಚನು ಭೂಮಿ ಆಕಾಶಮನನು ಸೃಜಿಂಚಿನ ಟ್ವಂಟಿ ಏಹೋವಾ ವರ್ಣನೆ ನಾಕು ಸಹಾಯಮು ಕಲಗುನು ಕೀರ್ತನಲ ಗ್ರಂಥಮು ನೂಟ ಇರವೈ ಒಕಟವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯಮು ಒಕಟಿ ರೆಂಡು ವಚನಗಳು ಐ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಮೈ ಐಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ದ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆವೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸಾಮ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಪ್ರತಿ ಚೋಟ ಮೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಗಭುವಾನುಂಡು ನಟ್ಲೋ ಆತ್ಮಾಭಿ 
ಆತ್ಮೀಯರೂಪುಂಡ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಸುನಿರ್ಮಿಂಶಿತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಮಾರನ ಹೃದಯ ಮುದಮಾರವಸೇನ್ಶೂನ ಹೃದಯಾಂತರಂಗಮುನ ನೀರಕ್ತಪ್ರಭಾವಮುನ ಪಾಪಹೃದಯೋ ಪಾವೇತ್ರ ಪರಚು ಮುತಂಡಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾಪಮುನು ಕಡಿಗೆ ಪಾವೇತ್ರ ಪರಚು ಮುತಂಡಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾಪಮುನು ಕಡಿಗೆ ಆಜಾಗರು ಕುಡನೈತಿ ನೀಜಾಶ್ರಯಂಬುನು ವಿಳಚೆ ಕರುಣಾರಸಮುತೋ ನಾಕೈ ಕನಿ ಪೇಟಿತಿ ವಿತಂಡ್ರಿ ಕರುಣಾರಸಮುತೋ ನಾಕೈ ಕನಿ ಪೇಟಿತಿ ವಿತಂಡ್ರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಸು ನಿರ್ಮಿಂಶಿತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಮಾರನ ಹೃದಯ ಮುದಮಾರವಸೇನ್ಶೂನ ಹೃದಯಾಂತರಂಗಮುನ ವಿಕಸೇಂಚವೆ ಸ್ವಾಸಾಂಬೋ ವಾಕ್ಯಾಂಬುನೋ ಚದುವಗನೆ ವಿಕಸೇಂಚವೆ ಸ್ವಾಸಂಬೋ ವಾಕ್ಯಾಂಬುನು ಚದುವಗನೆ ಶೇರೀತಿ ನೀಧಾರೀ ಕೋರಿ ನಡಿ ಪಿಂಚುಮೋ ಶೇರೀತಿ ನೀಧಾರೀ ಕೋರಿ ನಡಿ ಪಿಂಚುಮೋ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಸು ನಿರ್ಮಿಂಶಿತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಮಾರನ ಹೃದಯ ಮುದಮಾರವಸೇನ್ಶೂನ ಹೃದಯಾಂತರಂಗಮುನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಚೋಟ ಮೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಗಭುವಾನುಂಡು ನಟ್ಲೋ ಆತ್ಮಾಭಿಷೇಕ ಮುನಿಮ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮೀಯರುಪುಂಡ ಆತ್ಮಾಭಿಷೇಕ ಮುನಿಮ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮೀಯರುಪುಂಡ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಸು ನಿರ್ಮಿಶಿತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಮಾರನ ಹೃದಯ ಮುದಮಾರವಸೇನ್ಶೂನ ಹೃದಯಾಂತರಂಗಮುನ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಫೇತ್ ಬ್ಲಾಸಮ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ರೆಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಡ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಫೇತ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟೆಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ this is the very objective of the preaching this is the very purpose of the sermon by the evangelist to sow the seeds of faith through the word of god this is the one thing that is lacking in the present generation in the 21st century if there is a scarcity for anything if there is any one thing that is scarce that is faith in god so many faithless people so many people without faith having faith in god is regarded as a foolishness by the people in 21st century the objective of the preaching the objective of the sermon the purpose of the evangelist is to make the faith bloom as the trees 
spring forth in the time of spring after the autumn after the lenten season there will be spring season isn't it the preacher was so much blessed to be in korea as well as in china nowhere the preacher has seen such beautiful spring except in korea and in china though the preacher has been in israel for six long years the bloom the blossoms the beautiful blossoms are peculiar and unique to korea and china it could be unique to many other nations but the preacher is familiar with israel and china and korea such beautiful spring is nowhere seen in india all through the nation isn't it what a sad part where are trees roads are broadened by cutting the trees rivers are dug for sand all the sand from the river banks are robbed by smugglers the lakes are being occupied by filthy politicians no more lakes no more rivers no more trees this is what we see in the nation india that is why we see no spring the beauty of spring is missing in the book uh, practicing the presence of god the true guide to holy living brother lawrence from france living in monastery writes the secret for holy living if there is anything that is missing in this world if there were to be something missing in this world it is holiness holy living man has no idea of what holiness is man has no faith in god at all that is why we see agony that is why we see anxiety that is why we see greed that is why we see jealous that is why we see hatred that is why we see enmity corruption violence name any evil practice all these evil practices all this evil is due to lack of holy living lack of faith in god the purpose of sermons the purpose of preaching is to induce faith through the word of god this is what david used to do day and night david used to meditate on the word of the lord day in and day out as a result his faith is renewed david has enormous faith in god who has ever written such a beautiful psalm as psalm 1 దుష్టుల ఆలోచన చెప్పున నడవక పాపుల మార్గమున నిలవక అపహాసకులు కూర్చుండి చోటున కూర్చుండక యహోవ ధర్మశాస్త్రం అంద ఆనందించవచ్చు దేవారాత్రములు దానిని ధ్యానించు నరుడు ధన్యుడు అతడు నీటి కాలువలు ఎవరన్న నాటబడినదై ఆకువాడక తన కాలముందు ఫలమించే చెట్టు వలి నుండును అతడు చేరినదంతయు సఫల మగులు అతడు చేరినదంతయు సఫల మగులు దుష్టులు దుష్టుడు అలాగునుండక గాలి చెదరగొట్టు పొట్టువలేనందరు కాబట్టి న్యాయ విమర్శలు దుష్టులను నీతిమంతుల సభలో పాపులను నిలువరు నీతిమంతుల మార్గము యహోవాకు తెలియను పాపుల మార్గము నాశనమునకు నడుపును కాబట్టి న్యాయ విమర్శలు దుష్టులను నీతిమంతుల సభలో పాపులను నిలువరు ద ప్రీచర్ సో మచ్ ప్రివిలేజ్డ్ దట్ right from his childhood he used to attend the sunday school and the sunday school teachers used to teach the bible verse to get by heart get by heart the bible verses what a good practice 
the word of the lord need to be stored up in the heart fortunately these days we have access to the word of god freely isn't it when we browse through internet or through some other source we have access to the bible access to the word of god the word of god is freely accessible through many sources through many media through many ways whether it is through internet or whether it is through churches whether it is through gospel meetings whether it is through revival meetings all through the world we have free access to the word of god it was not so during the times of joseph isn't it it will not be so in the near future in the near future there will be severe restrictions on the preaching of gospel bible will be forbidden internet access to bible will be denied we are going to have a beastly form of government and that the beastly form of government will have severe restrictions on the practicing of faith free practice of religion there will be no more secularism secularism will be an unknown thing as democracy has become an unknown thing oh we are a democratic nation abraham lincoln has uh, told uh, that uh, we are a democratic nation abraham lincoln has defined uh, that democracy is a form of the government which is of the people for the people by the people neither the nation from where the term democracy originated is no longer democratic nor neither the nation that is from which the term democracy is originated is democratic nor the nation that boasts that it is the world largest democratic nation is democratic only we see democracy only we see the ruler the rule of evil if there were to be any democracy that is present why people go for hunger why people go for thirst why people suffer injustice all through the nation how many people go to bed without bread all through the nation how many people are going through thirst how many people are homeless how many youngsters are jobless how many youngsters are turning to be dacoits are turning to be thieves are turning to be breakers of law are turning to be drug addicts drug dealers just to earn a, a day's meal whose responsibility is this oh through constitution we have guaranteed fundamental rights fundamental so many fundamental rights what for what good are these fundamental rights even the most highly qualified and educated people are denied opportunities to work very very sad state of affairs prevailing in a sinful nation isn't it sinful nation sin is a reproach to any nation righteousness exalted the nation where is righteousness by the way what is righteousness how righteousness is defined righteousness cannot be defined without taking the name of jesus christ those that put their trust in jesus christ are all righteous jesus christ is the source of righteousness this is the standard of god what uh, what we see all around the globe hatred for the cross hatred for christ hatred for the word of god that is why we see destruction coming to the starting point help sahayamu kondala tattu na kannulu etuchu nanu naaku sahayam ekkada nundi vachinu bhoomi aakasham nundi surinchinatvanti yehova valane nenu naaku sahayam kalagunu kirtanala granthamo 121th adhyayamu 1 2 vachinamulu i lift up my eyes unto the hills i lift up my eyes unto the hills where shall my help come from my help comes from the maker of heaven and earth psalm 121 verse 1 and 2 david has realized that it is good to fall in the hands of god david has realized that god is merciful david has realized that god is faithful god is trustworthy that's why david could write such beautiful psalms 
Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that meditates on the word of God day in and day out. He will be like the tree that is planted by the streams of water. Who, who has seen the trees planted by the streams of water? Where are the streams of water? Only streams of drainages we see. Adyar canal stinking. Adyar canal foul smell with all non biodegradable with all non biodegradable plastic materials with all household waste this waste that waste municipal waste adair canal has become a stagnant drainage a source of many sicknesses a source of many diseases people have lost their ability to smell Nobody feels that the foul smell is so surprising to the preacher. How insensitive these people are. The preacher writes uh, to the special officer, to the deputy commissioner, health deputy commissioner. The list is indeed endless. Pleading. Such a blockage will end up in disaster if there were to be torrential rains, if there were to be flooding, if there were to be severe rains, there will be flooding. If there were to be floods uh, that were ha that has happened in Germany and China, if they were to happen in Chennai, there will be no way out to the people. This uh, Adyar Canal has to be cleaned, has to be cleaned of the waste. Please help. Deaf ear. No response. This is the sad state of affairs prevailing in the democra demono democratic nation, demonic nation. Who are the rulers? Demons. No compassion, no kindness. Oh, he is not my son, let him go hungry. Oh, she is not my daughter. Let her be naked. Shameless people, insensitive people, people with no compassion. If your son were to go forth hunger, will you tolerate? If your daughter were to be naked, will you tolerate? Then. Why are you so insensitive to the suffering of the people? Why do you not render help? That is why it is so sweet to trust in Jesus rather than trusting on the pseudo powers that are useful for nothing, fit for nothing. We want a king as per the tradition and as per the culture of all other nations, we want the king. Israelites by seeing the neighboring nations demanded for the king. Then Samuel the judge, the prophet says, O oh Israel, what you are asking is disaster. The king will make your children as slaves. He will sell you almost for nothing. You will be slaves to the king. He will be without pity. He will not show compassion on you. He will take away the good produce of your harvest. He will take away. He will rob you. He will make you slaves. He will make you run before his chariots, before his carts. You will be made scapegoats. Can you ask for a king? Is not the God of Israel your king? Thus far who has delivered you? Who has redeemed you? Who has helped you? Who has provided you help <coughs> in the time of need? <coughs> is it not the God of Jacob? Is it not the God of Israel? Can you ask for any flesh as your king? All through the night, Samuel was grieving <coughs> in the presence of God. God appears to Samuel and speaks to Samuel. Prophet Samuel, they have not rejected you, they have rejected me. Do not be sorrowful that your wise counseling was paid a deaf ear. The people of Israel has not denied you, they have denied me. As per their choice, as per their desire, recruit a king over them. Shaul, let him be the king over Israel. Shaul was made the first king 
over his wrath. No good choice. What is the lesson? Rajulu manake overlero, Sorulu manake overlero, Sainya molaku adhipati aina yehova mananda, Yudhamo yehova de. Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Vyadhulu Manalano Padadrosina Badhalu Manalano Krungadisina Vesva Samonaku Kartayaina Yesaya Mananda Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yeruko Godalu Addu Achina Yerra Samodra Moyeduraina Yeruko Godalu Addu Achina Yerra Samodra Moyeduraina Adbota De Udumana Kunda Bhayamela Manakinka Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Shodha Kudaina Pavadi Garjinchu Sim Hamavale Vachina Yoda Gotra Pusim Hamaina Yesaya Mananda Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Yudhamo Yehova De Sahaimo Help Kondala tattu na kandu le tuchu na nu na ko sahayam yakkada nandu vachinu bhoomi akasam na suru jinnatu vatti yehova rani nana ak sahayam kalagunu Kirtana la grandhamo nota erva yakta va adhyayamo vakati rendu vachinu malu I lift up my eyes unto the hills where shall my help come from My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth Psalm 121 verses from 1 to 2 Why the preacher repeats the verse the word of the lord many a time all through the preaching at least for 10 times why there was a regular attendee to the church this believer happens to be the very first member attending the church no matter it is summer no matter it is winter or rainy season or spring season whatever may be the season this believer will be the first in the church. All through the year, all through the 56 Sundays, this is the practice. What a wonderful practice. Practicing the presence of God, the true guide to holy living. Going back to the work of Brother Lawrence from the monastery in France. Brother Lawrence to the surprise of the audience is no preacher, no father, no bishop, no clergyman. He is a simple layman serving the clergy, bringing the provisions to the monastery, cleaning the monastery, sweeping the monastery, washing the dishes, working in the kitchen, doing all menial labor, all small things, little things. Yet this Beloved brother Lawrence had one practice. We are now talking on the subject called practice. Why practice is very important. What are you known for? What are you practicing? 
after you are passing away from this world what what for people will remember you edward mckenzie bounds even on his 74th year can anyone imagine 74 years is no young age isn't it absolutely old age especially these days in good old and 74 years is not regarded as old age even in 74 and even in their 90s even in their hundreds our ancestors were quite stout stubborn and strong caleb is telling to joshua my strength has never gone down my strength has been renewing my youthfulness is being renewed like the youth of the eagle you know very well when moshe has sent you and me and along with us 10 spies to explore the promised land to see the good things in the promised land to know of the things in the promised land when moshe has sent us deputed us to spy over the land i was strong and stout and stubborn and filled with power you yourself are the living testimony because we both have gone to the land of canaan together along with 10 other spies each spy from each tribe of the children of jacob you are seeing me after many years after we have taken over possession of the land of canaan many years have passed isn't it even in my old age i am youthful the secret of my strength is god himself i want the inheritance in hebron i want hebron to be my inheritance caleb is demanding a tough place there are very stout people there are very strong people taking hold of hebron yet what caleb says is i am as strong as i was when i first entered to spy over the land i am strong you can trust me you can believe me the lord is the source of my strength the lord is my help do not think that my strength has gone down do not think that i have become old joshua give me hebron as my inheritance i will fight with my sword so that no one can prevail over me what a faith in god how long will you tarry how long will you delay by not taking possession by not taking hold of the land that i have given you god is asking the children of jacob how long will you tarry how long will you delay procrastination 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 postponement 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 delay 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 this is the disease this is the one disease that is obstructing the progress procrastination for everything procrastination tomorrow kal dekh lenge let us see tomorrow let us do tomorrow whatever the preacher asks whatever whomever the preacher approaches tomorrow 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 naaliki 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 nirpiya will you be tomorrow why not today the preacher should not say now the preacher should not say akshav evil people bent on breaking the walls of the neighbors i want absolute calm akshav i want silence the preacher should not say if the preacher demands silence the preacher will be labeled as a terrorist and a mob evil people will fall upon the household of the preacher really wretched people lawless mob i want silence akshav will you break the wall of the neighbor Joshua you can be sure I will silence these people I know how to silence these giants I have a stick in my hand I have a sword in my hand I will say akshav now not tomorrow because Kale was granted with such a power vallama inda unda adbhuta vallama I will put FBI case I will put Tada case put 
whatever you want you can do i'll put you in prison put i'll put you in fiery furnace put sir oh king nebuchadnezzar not seven times you can increase 70 fold if you have power if you have resources the intensity of fire even if our god were no not to deliver us from your evil hands we will not bow down before you before the idol that you have erected that idol is for you the vip you have deputed is for yourself sir not for me this idol is no idol for me this idol is no god for me we declare we will not bow down before you our idol you can do whatever you want i'll put you in furnace no problem sir this evil king has intense in, increased the intensity of the fiery furnace seven fold seven is the maximum beyond that he could not do anything sir you can increase the intensity of the fiery furnace seven times you can put fba cases you can put tada cases you can put pedophile cases you can put homosexuality cases nothing is going to hurt us sir we stand for truth what will you buy aap kya kharidenge humko sach chahiye hum sach kharidenge we buy the truth how dare you are to ask for truth to ask for justice knowing fully well we are corrupted to the core we are wretched we are evil people we are putting this vanity fair all the year long all the 365 days this vanity fair is erected in the king's highway how dare you to ask for truth we do not have anything like truth we will not give you justice knowing fully well there is no truth in our market how can you ask for truth shameless people wretched people this italian row is the oldest of all the mercandise unfortunately john banyan has forgotten of the indian mercandise here we sell blood we sell slaves we sell many things The author of the book Pilgrim's Progress has also forgotten the Chinese mercandise. If the author were to live in these days, the author John Bunyan will first of all mention the Indian row rather than the Italian row. The Indian row is as corrupted as the Italian row. Here we sell the slaves, here we sell the blood, here we sell the righteous people, here we sell the truth almost for nothing. how dare you to ask for truth how dare you to say akshav knowing fully well this is my territory knowing fully well this is my land are you not slaves in a foreign land for four centuries 400 centuries 400 years thou shall treat your neighbor as yourself thou shall not harass your neighbor hammering on the walls of the neighbors What does this mean? Is this not violence? Is this what your law says? <laughs> anyway, gay. Let us exploit him. Shameless people, wretched people. Destruction is awaiting you. Your nation will be surrounded with multitudes of armies. What is happening in Ukraine? We are Christian nation. Professing that they are wise, they have become fools. we are christians you know if you are to be christian why do you import weapons from so called pseudo nation that says that that is founded on trust you would have imported missionaries you would have imported evangelists you would have fed the preachers with bread when the preachers are perishing with hunger we are christians you know our christian population is 87% to how many evangelists do you have provided food to how many preachers you have provided home by the way i am homeless you have not taken me in i am hungry you did not give me bread i am thirsty you did not give me water evil people depart from me i never know you go into the hell that is prepared for satan and its agents all the goats goat like people no compassion no pity even in spite of having resources in spite of having power in spite of having 
facilities to help not able to help not willing to help why should i give food to david am i here to give, give food to all those people that have run away from their employers i will not give a penny i will not give a single sheep i will not give a single lamb i will not give a cup of wine well sir death is awaiting you god will curse you god cursed nabal with terrible sickness in 10 days nabal was dead and gone foolish rich man by the way how all your sheep are safe by the way how you are celebrating hagiga shameless unthankful person nabal nabal's life ended in no time in 10 days nabal was dead and gone on the contrary abigail the noble woman knowing fully well that her husband is a foolish person as per as his name is nabal so is he he is foolish knowing fully well who david is how god fearing david is how david meditates on the word of god how david was delivered from death how david was delivered from bears how david was delivered from lions abigail sees the need thava in soranda in sonna ta thavir kan sonna vela thandurvaangala onnum panna mudiyadu shameless people wretched people i am in need ana eludna vela thandurvaangala shameless people hard hearted people destruction is their end i am in need please help me all those people that are with me are in hunger nabal you we did good for you by sacrificing our sleep by going forth by going through hunger by going through thirst we have suffered so much to guard all your sheep all that you had is safe because of what we did we are in need of food you are in surplus you are in abundance provide us help when david sent the message for help nabal paid a deaf ear yet david knows surely god will help i lift up my eyes unto the hills where shall my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth david never knew who abigail is david never expected that abigail will bring surplus provision david was astonished to see abigail's nobility goodness in a cursed place called long island long island long island that is indeed a cursed place the husband of mrs lowistert by rendering a helping hand to a boy drowns in the ocean drowns in the ocean a question right in front of uh, mrs lowistert and her little daughter being a widow with no provision with no source of help going through hunger going through thirst this poor woman with the little child looks unto jesus christ only on jesus there is no source of help there is no one to provide her there is no one to rescue her in poverty in hunger just lois tried is expecting help from jesus christ miraculously marvelously someone brings the bread the provision that is very much needed in time of hunger and places at the door she does not know who has brought the provision when she opens the door she finds the provision and this widow is astonished and writes the beautiful hymn it's so sweet to trust jesus it's so sweet to trust in jesus more than 20 times the name jesus appears like a mantra like a bhajan 20 times repetition the name single name jesus 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 what is this is this the hymn indeed all through the christian world this uh, hymn has become so much popular 
there is no wonder that there would be no english church that has never sung the hymn it's so sweet to trust in jesus such a popular hymn that has originated from great trial being transformed into a testimony by lord jesus christ her savior likewise david has become has received many many miracles in his life from jesus christ from yahweh from the sovereign lord and the fruit is the book of psalms eliza the wicked woman ajebel is after the life of eliza by tomorrow evening if you are to be alive my name is not eliza my name is not ajebel eliza was feared eliza was fearful discouraged to the core lord enough i don't want to live any more this wicked woman is after my life this wicked ruler ahab is after my life enough take away my life then lord says god sends forth his angel and the angel brings bread and water eliza wake up wake up eat this is the divine provision some trust in horses some trust in chariots we trust in the living god can god provide food can god provide food for 600000 people can god provide food for 6 million people ummal kodum ellam kodum or vaartha sonnal podum with god all things are possible who has provided for 40 long years bread to israelites in wilderness is it not yahweh is it not the triune god who has followed the israelites as the rock and provided water when the israelites are going for going through thirst moshe strike the rock and moshe speak to the rock it will give you waters when moshe speak to the rock we see much abundant water flowing through the rock if god can provide water through rock <coughs> if god can provide manna in the wilderness why not why not god why not god can why god cannot provide food to the hunger the preacher has no doubt at all for past 41 years the preacher has seen many many evil people returning evil for good unthankful people ungrateful people yet the focus of the preacher is only on jesus christ the good that he has received from jesus christ and so circumstances has not changed the attitude of the preacher to render good in spite of the all evil that he has received no in not your labors in christ shall not be in vain god is not unjust that he will forget the love that you have shown for his name's sake these are the verses that consistently encourage the preacher to continuously do good in spite of the very fact that there is no deserving person to receive good there is no trace of doubt in this betrayal 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 who will ever have heart to do good anal திடம் கொண்டுங்கள் உலகத்தில் உங்களுக்கு உபதிரவம் உண்டு ஆனாலும் திடம் கொண்டுங்கள் நான் உலகத்தின் ஜெயித்தேன் இன் த வேர்ல்ட் யூ வில் ஹாவ் ட்ரிபுலேஷன் எட் டு நாட் லூஸ் ஹார்ட் ஐ ஹவ் ஓவர் கம் த வேர்ல்ட் லுக் அட் மே கண்டினியூ டு டூ குட் கண்டினியூ டு டூ குட் விதவுட் கம்ப்ளைனிங் விதவுட் வேவரிங் தட் இன் டியூ டைம் யூ வில் ரீப் த ஹார்வெஸ்ட் கனேளத்தோ வித்தேடு வாரல் ஆனந்தம் புத்தோ ninadu goyu dura nedi vagdanam buto manana gori bhaktulara nindu maitrito manava premato chaatu damu chaatu damu chaatu damu chaatu damu chaatu damu chaatu damu ாமோட்டுதாமோட்டுதாமோட்டுதாமோ சாட்டுதாமோ சாட்டுதாமோ 
ಸಾಟಿಂಚೋಡಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಜಾತಿ ಕೇ ಸುನಾಮೋ ಚಾಟಿಂಚೋಡಿ ಅವಸ್ಯ ಮೇ ಸು ಪ್ರೇಮ ಸಾರಮೋ ಚಾಟಿಂಚೋಡಿ ಅವಸ್ಯ ಮೇ ಸು ಪ್ರೇಮ ಸಾರಮೋ ಜನಾದುಲು ವಿಶೇಷ ರಕ್ಷಣ ಸುನಾದಮೋ ವೇಣೋಪಾರ್ಯಂತ ಚಾಟು ದಾಮ ಚಾಟು ದಾಮ ಚಾಟು ದಾಮ ಚಾಟು ದಾಮ ಚಾಟು ದಾಮ ಚಾಟು ದಾಮ ಕ್ರೀಸ್ತೇ ಸೋ ನಾಮ ಕೊಂಡಲ ತಟ್ಟು ನಾ ಕನ್ನಲೆತ್ತುಚು ನಾನು ನಾಕು ಸಹಾಯಮಿ ಎಕ್ಕಡೆ ನಡೆ ವಚನ ಭೂಮಿ ಆಕಾಶವನ್ನು ಸೃಜಿಸಿನಟುವಟಿ ಹೋಗಲನೆ ನಾಕು ಸಹಾಯಮ ಕಲಗನು ಕೀರ್ತನ ಗ್ರಂಥಮ ನೋಟ ಇರುವ ಎಕ್ಕಟವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಒಕ್ಕಟಿ ರೆಂಡು ವಚನ ಬರು ಐ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಮೈ ಐಸ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದ ಮೈ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆವೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸಾಮ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ದ ವೇ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ಗೋ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವೇ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಅಪ್ Bible verses need to be learned by heart so that the youngsters do not depart from the way of truth from the way of justice so that justice and righteousness will flow in the land righteousness will flow in the land the land will yield much of its fruit so that the youngsters will be a source of grace to those that are in need will be a source of help to those that are in need Joseph saved many lives because the law of God is written in the heart of Joseph. Multitudes came to Joseph for help. Joseph never denied anyone. Joseph gave freely. Joseph generously gave bread, not freely. So long as the people were in a position to pay and buy, Joseph sold the grain in times of drought. When people have no money to buy the grain, grain by paying money joseph asked the people to sell their livestock then to sell their lands then to sell themselves for buying money to sustain the lives to keep themselves alive what does this show this shows how to rule the nation tana kumarana dharma modal cheda beram kada joseph could has freely distributed then the economy of the nation would have been in peril the king would have been pauper in no time can we find a person with the spirit of god can we find angels dwelling with man i see david i see i see joseph having the spirit of god the king trusted joseph so much and joseph has proved his loyalty to the king the king would have become pauper in no time if joseph were to go on freely distributing the rice joseph is not there to freely distribute rice tana kumarana dharma modala chedda beram grace to the deserving there was a professor in eternal prison the evangelist shows to the christian see this gloomy face sad face ugly face ask what is the reason for his gloom what is the reason for his sorrow agony the christian goes and has the convo have and will have the conversation with the person in the eternal prison cage why are you so sad why are you so gloomy i was not like this i was not what i am i was a flourishing professor so long as i was on earth so long as i have fame i have money i have popularity i have funding i have designations i have titles i have so many credentials i never humbled myself to accept the gospel i have considered the blood of jesus christ as unworthy i have never received the grace i have denied the grace well you have denied for yourself the grace grace denied forever oh the king of heaven is gracious jesus christ will grant grace even if you repent now no that is now there is no chance the time of grace has ended 
I am condemned for eternity because I have considered the precious blood of Jesus Christ as unworthy. Eternal prison was awaiting to such. Foolish professors that consider the innocent blood as worthless. May the Lord grant the audience to love their neighbor as they love themselves and render help if it is in their capacity as they have received the breath in their nostrils from the Sovereign Lord. In the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.